I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. Creatures. But on today's episode, we're going to be doing a rehouse, and that is for the, I think it's the Fonapalma Gabelli? Gabelli? Yeah, it's something like that. I'll show you the actual pot lid in a second. Well, actually, let me grab the camera now, because it would probably just be easier if I show you all of this. Yeah, it's easier if I just. Let's show that. <laughs> it's easier if I just show you the actual lid of the uh, name. So it is the Cows, Cows Bad Green, the Afonapalma Gabelli. I think that's how you say it. That's how I want to say it anyway. I think that's how I said it last time when we did the pickups. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. yeah. So before we actually get into this rehouse, I just want to uh, show you guys something. So obviously, I wanted to rehouse. I can't remember the exact name for it because they've changed it recently. What was it again? The Miller, Miller put, I don't know, Miller I something. Can't say it. Was it the Albertry Art still? It's the Tyre yeah. Zebra Leg. Um, that's the common name. I don't really use common names much, but yeah, I don't really know the scientific name. Um, I need to get used to it. So yeah, we wanted to rehouse that one today, but I think it needs to settle in a bit more. So where, I think it was on the bottom actually. So yeah, it's, it's just on the bottom, just down here. Um, so we've put it in like a little temporary sort of enclosure and we've, we've done this with quite a few over the past. We don't do it with every tarantula, um, but we have still got the, and I think it's the Tilter Cattle Verdesi now. I don't know if you guys remember from C's, we got an adult female Tilter Cattle Verdesi. Um, so yeah, she's still inside this enclosure, in one of these enclosures. She's also recently molted. And then we've also got one from another show and then we've put the new ones in it. So I was looking at them and the cow's bad green seems to be the most active. He's quite a flighty boy and he seems to be quite settled. So I think we're gonna go with this one today. Well, we are, because I've already said it. Um, and then these will be on later episodes. Like I said, I just want them to settle in. Um, I really wanted to do that old world today, you know, the tire zebra leg, but we're gonna leave that for another day. Even Charlotte loves the Afana Palmas. Mm -hmm. Normally, because they're quite nice, aren't they? <laughs> We hope so. I think this one's going to be a bit of a... Please don't jinx it again. Oh, I'm not going to jinx it again. <laughs> but he has been pretty fly, hasn't he? So Charlotte obviously put these in the enclosure. Um, I was at work when, when she was doing it. So I don't actually know how any of these, these were when she was getting them out. All she said was that Thai zebra leg, um, it was a bit like, stubborn. It wasn't defensive whatsoever. Um, you know, it didn't actually fret posture anything like that, it just didn't really want to move and that's another reason why I didn't really want to rehouse that one today because it still looks like it's in a defensive position so we're just going to leave it for a good couple of weeks and uh, fingers crossed she settles down and then we're going to have to disturb her again to get her into her forever home but obviously we're going to put her in one of them trancher room enclosures, one of the big ones again um, because you guys know how much I love using them for my fossorial species at the minute unless they're sort of fossorial slash terrestrial Anyway, I'm talking too much again. So yeah, the, uh, we're gonna use one of these tarantula room enclosures as Charlotte's showing us right now. Do you wanna pick it up? Give it a little. This is um, the one that we got at one of the shows. It's one of the prototype ones, because it's got the, it's got the, the circle. circle. Yeah, I think we got that from... Wild and Tame. Yeah, Tarantula's Wild and Tame. They had a female in there. They were basically selling it with the setup. And, it was uh, Balfouria, wasn't it? Yeah, Balfouria. Balfouria. I think it was 70 quid? Yeah, it was. Oh, which it? I think is really good. She's in one of these now, isn't she? She... She's in a glass one. No, she's in... Is she not? She's in the ones back there. Oh, the breeding. Basically, she's in, in one like this. We, we basically put them all in like sort of breeding tanks. That's what we put all our female baths in. Um, but yeah, 70 quid for that. You think about it, like most shops, they sell adult female about four is between like 60 and 80 quid and then like these enclosures on trancher room like bear in mind this is quite an old one but like they're about what 25 30 yeah i'd say yeah definitely i don't know if they've gone up since I, i'm not sure myself but it enclosure and spiders it's definitely more than 70. it's a deal, yeah. a it deal, was a deal. 
So uh, let's set up this enclosure. Well, actually, what do you want to do first? You want to get the, the trencher out and the catch tube? Yeah. So, well, probably going to get moaned up for using the catch tube again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to use the trencher room uh, tube again, once again, uh, to get this trencher in. Like I said, it's quite a flighty trencher, so we shouldn't have any issues getting it in or getting it out. Fingers crossed I haven't jinxed it again. I really um, hope you haven't. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we got a bit of time today, so. Well, we need to move these before we can, anyways. Oh yeah, so let's move these first, and then yeah, we're, uh, we'll decide what we're gonna do from there. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. You ready? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the camera is like in the way of your face. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The uh, cow's bad green on a palma gabelli. Boom. Is oh. just the uh, so I know most people think of Fonna Palmas, you know, they're just a generic, they all look the same, but they generally don't. You know, once you get a couple different uh, Fonna Palmas, you can uh, definitely tell the difference. But my favourite has still got to be the uh, Fonna Palma Cal Cody's. So, you know, oh, hello. it's not just the Fonna Palma Cal Cody's because you got the uh, New River. Got the was it fi Feist? Oh, I don't know. You got the New River, you got the Desert Blonde, and then you got that. Oh my god, I can't remember what it is. That was easy, wasn't it? That was a nice, easy don't. one. And I'm just chatting waffles. What is it? It's gonna annoy me now. Cow Cody's Desert Blonde. I don't know. Cow Cody's New River. Flagstaff, that's it. The Flagstaff Orange, I think it is. Okay. Boom. All right, sorry. And Craig's the one with the Flagstaff Orange. I've got the other two. So, yeah. Sorry, while I'm chatting, she's done it. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. So, we're uh, put her on the side. We get this enclosure built out. This should be a nice, quick, easy re -ass. So considering these are terrestrial spiders, we're going to put them in a terrestrial tank and they are great for being out on display. The substrate used, topsoil as always, but remember to keep the soil dry. Place a cork bark inside the enclosure just to make some sort of little hide for the tarantula to go under. There's the mini grindlers right there. They were pretty young there actually, like very young. That's when Alexis was, was a baby. And most of all, put in a water dish for that hydration. And then add some sphagnum moss, just for decoration, along with some leaf litter, just to finish it off. So what we have gone with here, well Charlotte, what Charlotte's gone with here is, well she she said on the camera, but obviously it was recording in slow motion so it doesn't pick up our voice, but she said she wanted to go with the TP style again. Um, she seems to like the TP style tents. TP style TP of heights. What? TP tents? No, TP style of heights. Hide. Not tents, it ain't a tent. It is it's like a hide. Yeah. 
It's a TP10 hard. Yeah. There TP10 you go. That's what we're hard. calling it. That's the that's the new trend. So yeah, we're going to go with the TP star. Um, I've actually got a couple of other. Yeah, you do. Fun of like that. I'm not the fun of palmers, but there's a TP up there too. Yeah, we got we got loads of TPs. We love TPs in this house. Let's do it. Let's go. All the sleeves up. This rehouse is not going to go okay. And hopefully I've jinxed it and it's going to go good. Oh. Now I've probably just jinxed it even more. God's sake, Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> just go back just a little bit. Oh, that's all right. Oh. It's probably easier if I just sit here on the sofa. Just Ooh. watch it come oh. down. It's a bit fly. There you go, look. Go in there. And then boom, oh, yeah. out you go. And that's how it should be done. Nice and easy. Look at that. Let's try and get some shots of her. Let's come around here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait to feed this gal. And uh, I haven't done it for a while, but I'm definitely gonna add a little update to this video and hopefully some feeding footage. We'll have a look at that now, quick. And here is the Afana Palma Gabelli, the what is it again? The cow's bad green. A couple of weeks later down the line, I'm pretty sure it's been about yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been a couple of weeks. But we haven't actually fed her yet, so for today, we are going to chuck a little Morio worm in for her. So if I take this off, I'll have a little look. Oh, I'll have a little look at where she is. Just at the front of her burrow, where the little TP bit is that Charlotte made. But the colours on her are absolutely fantastic. So I guess I should probably get a little Morio worm. There's not really much to update, if I'm honest. You know, they don't really web that much. Um, she seems pretty chill, she's settled in. Other than that, everything looks pretty gravy. So, let's chuck that worm in. Let's have a look. Let me put this in slow motion quick. Oh, actually, nah. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Nah, let's not do it in slow motion. Let's do it quickly today. Give me a sec, I need to get something on these tweezers. Straight in for the food. Yeah, I'm just messing. No music this time. Absolutely stunning. Proper little mouthful right there. We're gonna go for one more because our abdomen isn't exactly big. Was she got enough? Uh, 20 hours later. Oh, 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 she's going for it. So, I think that sort of wraps up this little update. Like I said, there's not really much to update. Um, all I can tell is that she seems to be settled in fine. Obviously, she's now eating as well, which is absolutely brilliant. And we'll just see how she does down the line. But yeah, that's it for that update. So that is the Afana Palma Gabelli, however you want to call it. I forgot what the common name was. What was it? Well, I couldn't say the common name. Something green, cow, cow's Oh, cow's bad green, that's it. So the cow's bad green, obviously we will get a label put up on this enclosure as well, because uh, that's one that I'm probably not gonna remember. But a nice, quick, easy rias. Um, that's how a rias should be done with <laughs> yeah. a no defensive tarantula striking. And uh, yeah, 
This no one tears. behaved. <laughs> no tears. I honestly thought this one was going to go quite bad, actually, because of how flighty he was, but... Isn't it a she? You've been calling it a he the entire time. Have I? Oh, yeah. it's a she. It's Sorry. A she. It's a she. <laughs> so, yeah, she. Uh, she's going to do good, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But uh, she definitely probably won't be able to stay in there for... A oh, there's a butterfly. Sorry, the window's... Uh, yeah. The curtains are open. Just saw a butterfly. So if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when we upload next. And don't forget guys, down in the description there's a link for our link tree. It's got all our social medias on there. It would be great if you go... Check it out. Check it out. Uh, it's free to support this channel. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> Hang on. How did you do oh that? Oh my god. You're making it worse. There you go, alright. I've lost track. What, 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 what was I saying? You did your little... Um... Link tree bit. Yeah. I think it's by now. So Mr. Grindler's down here. And so is Mrs. Grindler. And uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Have a great one. You all deserve it. Peace. Bye.